Okay, so it's been a while since I have done a movie review, either solo or with my compadres. But uh, I felt I needed to come out of my cave and shoot you guys a new review. And this time we're going to be talking about the remake of Roadhouse 2024 with Jake Gyllenhaal as the lead character, uh, formerly portrayed by uh, Patrick Swayze. Now, anybody who knows the original Roadhouse knows that it is a cult classic, okay? You had the um, the uber-masculine mentor in uh, Sam Elliott in his character Wade, and then you had Dalton, played by Patrick Swayze, now played by um, Jake Gyllenhaal, and um, the infamous uh, uh, throat rip, uh, that Patrick Swayze performed on his uh, on his opponent, uh, a rival martial artist. That um, in one scene it got got the better of Wade. And you know I got to say this: what makes Roadhouse the original iconic is there were some things that were so terrible about it and so laughable, from their fashion to their hair, to um, you know to some of the acting. But here's the thing. Somehow it all worked. Patrick Swayze's character, you know, D- Dalton, there could when you think about Roadhouse, you think that there could only be one person to play Dalton. And I'll just start by saying there was the way the, the you know, like a, a an interpretation of Wade wasn't even present in this. There was no Wade. So, ladies, I'm sorry. Anybody looking for a, a Sam a Sam Elliott um, uh, fill in, you know, wish version of of Sam Elliott, you're going to be sadly disappointed. Um, and of course, the film nowadays is prerequisite was racially diverse. You know, God forbid we have a movie that just stars white people, because I guess uh, white people, particularly white men, are evil somehow. You know, I don't I don't know. So you have to have Uh, an element of color in there so that the film is even better than it would have been if the cast was all white. (laughs) Excuse me. Uh, Is it good? Is Jake Gyllenhaal good? Well, I will say this. Jake Gyllenhaal apparently took the role seriously because my my dude is shredded. Like, he is shredded. He looks like a, um, a fanatical mixed martial artist. Is he as charismatic as the Patrick Swayze character? You know, you really can't compare them because he takes a more Mr. Rogers approach, you know, with his violence. And there, there's some indications that, you know, at one time he had anger problems. You know, when we see a flashback of him fighting in the ring, he just goes completely over the top. And uh, it, it results in tragedy in the ring. Uh, So he's trying to kind of get away from some demons. He has nightmares and stuff about that fight. He has um, sleepless nights behind what happened. And uh, his enemy, you know, the I can't even remember the the one guy's name, the guy that in the original where where Dalton ripped his throat out. I don't remember that guy's name. Nobody does. He was just feather hair hair guy. the replacement was Conor McGregor, who just played a more exaggerated Conor McGregor. And while I'm not saying that he was pointless, and he was in some ways the complete opposite of um, of, of Gyllenhaal's way, he was so over the top till I just, it it took me completely out of the movie. Now, there are some people that are saying they love Conor's performance. You know, an over-the-top Conor Conor McGregor performance, if you're a a Conor McGregor fan, is great. You know, you're going to love it no matter what he does. Um, So it wasn't expected for Conor McGregor to get out of character. You know, he's not an actor. He's, He's a fighter. But his, his... over the top rage and gleeful rage was I think it was intentional to to offset Jake Gyllenhaal's understated 
um, civilized and basically, you know, given the demeanor of being happy, happy, go lucky, carefree. <clears throat> now you get down to the love interests. I don't remember the woman's name. You know, half these people, they, they pop up in movies and I can't remember who the hell they are. Um, but she is, uh, I, I don't know if she's, if she's Latina. I don't know what she's supposed to be in this movie. Um, but you know, you, you have your obligatory characters that are minority. Uh, the owner of, of the, of, of the, um, the bar, the roadhouse bar is a black woman. So you hit all the notes, you hit all the notes that you need to. The only thing they didn't have, they didn't have, I don't believe LGBTQ, um, and, uh, gay people represented. They didn't have any of that represented. So I guess they dropped the ball on that. You know, I want, I'm pretty sure somebody is going to say they dropped the ball on that particular, um, um, that particular thing. Uh, there was no chemistry between Jill and Hall and the wish version of the love interest that he had in the original road. And there just was no, there was nothing there. She was a cut and paste character that was put there to be a placeholder. Um, the owner of the, of the bar, she was a non-entity. Here's my thing. If you're going to put people in there, if you're going to hit your diversity quotas, put people in that impact the movie. It's like these guys are just picking people up off the street and inserting them in the movie and saying, yeah, we got somebody who checks off a box. Get somebody good. You guys are making it bad for actors, for black actors, Latina actors, and, and other minority actors by putting lackluster or bad actors in there. Because it's like, okay, is this the best that we can get? Is this the cream of the crop? Well, at least was the fighting good. The fighting was good. It was all right. It was choreographed okay. <clears throat> but this movie gave me every indication that it was either a good, you know, it was TV show quality or it was, you know, it, it didn't feel like it did. It, it even belonged on the big, big screen. So they made the right choice as far as whether this movie should be in theaters or whether it should be on Netflix. They made the perfect choice. This is quintessential belongs on Netflix fair. The final fight scene was okay. And I guess that's my, my, my problem with the movie is that everything was okay. After I finished watching it, I felt no need to revisit it. It wasn't going to go into my guy movie catalog you know I've got a, a you know like movies that only guys would, would enjoy it doesn't go into my guy movie catalog it doesn't go into it just doesn't fit anywhere it's one of the most basic movies I have ever seen in my life Gyllenhaal playing the role that he was given was vintage Jake Gyllenhaal he's always decent but there wasn't much to work with Conor McGregor he was over the top and flamboyant because he's Conor McGregor. The love interest, she was just there. The owner of the club, you know, she was kind of just there. Um, there were no characters that were standouts. The um, the young bouncer that was kind of under Dalton's wing, he was kind of there. Everybody was just flat, cookie cut out, cut and paste by the numbers, colored by the numbers. So I have to give Roadhouse a middling, you know, I give it a C minus because it's so painfully average, but it's not bad. It's a painfully average movie. The villains were average and not men menacing or memorable. The hero was just kind of, eh, I'm there. And it just overall, you know, I, I've, I've, I've had worse ways that I've wasted time, but this has to be. If I were to compare it to a day of the week, it would be Tuesday. Because at least Monday's the beginning of the week. Friday's the last day of the week. Thursday is you're in the home stretch. You just got one day left. Wednesday is hump day and Tuesday just kind of doesn't mean anything. 
a matter of fact, they could do away with Tuesday altogether. If if I had it my way, I would just get rid of Tuesday. It would be it would be Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That's how I feel about this movie. Anyway, if you see Roadhouse and you're a Jake Gyllenhaal fan, um, you'll just probably watch it, mildly enjoy it, and then, um, you know, uh, probably go watch something else. But as far as this guy here, yeah, not doing it ever again. This is your guy, the brave artist for Screen Say. And share, like, and subscribe. Let everybody know about this small movie review channel. And let's get some fire up under this thing. And until the next review, take care. Yeah.